Hello YouTubers, this is 777.high forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model. Today I'll be doing a review on a JC Wings Pakistan International Airlines Boeing 777-300ER in the Garden of the Mughal Tail Fin Livery Scheme in a 1-200 scale model. I pre-ordered and purchased this model from Troy's Toys whose store is based out of Overland Park, Kansas, here in the United States of America, and his website address is www.troystoysinc.com. But first, before I go into details about this particular model, allow me to share some information about their history at Pakistan International Airlines, if you would please. Pakistan International Airlines was founded on October 29, 1946, as Orient Airways in Calcutta, India, where it was first initially based before shifting operations to the newly independent state of Pakistan in 1947, and officially commenced operations on March 11, 1955, when Orient Airways merged with the government's proposed airline and was eventually renamed to what has become known today as Pakistan International Airlines, and inaugurated the first international flight when it flew from Karachi, Pakistan to London Heathrow by way of Cairo, Egypt and Rome, Italy, using four newly acquired Lockheed L-1019C Super Constellation aircraft. It became a nationalized airline six years later in 1961, as Pakistan International Airlines is the national flag carrier airline for the country of Pakistan, as well as the country's largest airlines, whereas the headquarters of Pakistan International Airlines is located along with its main hub and base of operations on the grounds of Jinnah International Airport, which is located approximately 12.8 miles northeast of the city center district section of Karachi, Pakistan, in the province of Sindh. The airline's other primary hubs are located at Al Al Lama, Iqbal International Airport, located in Lahore, Pakistan, and Islamabad International Airport, located in Islamabad, Pakistan. And the focus cities of Pakistan International Airlines are located at Abu Dhabi International Airport, located in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, Dubai International Airport, also located in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Kim Abdulaziz International Airport, located in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, London Heathrow Airport, located in London, England, and Manchester Airport, located in Manchester, England. As of August 2018, or at the time of this video review posting, Pakistan International Airlines currently flies to 52 destinations across Asia, Europe, the Middle East, and North America with an operating fleet of 33 aircraft that includes 12 777s, in which six of those are the Boeing 777-200ERs, two of those are the Boeing 777-200LRs, and the remaining four are the Boeing 777-300ERs. And in addition to the 33 aircraft that currently operates in Pakistan's fleet, the airline also has unfulfilled orders for eight more aircraft, in which five of those are the Boeing 777-300ERs, and those aircraft, as we speak, are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. Also, as of August 2018, or at the time of this video review posted, Pakistan International Airlines currently operates as a certified three-star airline carrier, according to the International Airline Review Firm, Skytrax Magazine, and the Boeing customer code for Pakistan International Airlines on this particular aircraft is 40. All right, everyone, let's take a look at the front of the box. You see here, we're going to start at the top on the left side, where you see the aircraft type. The airline's logo right here, inscripted in uh, Urdu, the acronym right here. And then there's the four different aircraft type models right there. This is the one I'm going to do the review on. I do have that one on deck. As that one's on order, I should be getting that any day now. And that's the regular one. I guess JC Wynn's going to do that at some point. And then there's the one 200 scale diecast aircraft model information at the lower part of the box. Now you're looking at the back of the box. Nothing much back there except the Boeing Fisher license product decal and the information. The warning information, and then you look over to the right side of the lower part of the box, you see the JC Wings logo, as well as their Facebook social media page information there as well. Now you're looking at the top of the box where you see the aircraft type information, the airline's logo in uh, calligraphic Urdu, the acronym which stands for Pakistan International Airlines, and the 1200 scale diecast aircraft model information at the top of the box. Now you're looking at the um, bottom of the box, the same information at the top of the box I showed you earlier on, but the exception on this side here, those are the four models right here, there, 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 and there. This one you see with the check here, 
That's the one I'm going to do the review on. I pre-ordered that one. I should have that any moment. And I got that one on deck as well. I'll do that later. J.C. Wing has yet to release that model yet. Okay. Now you're going to have this nice little wooden model stand that came with the model. And you see that custom plaque right there. You see the airline's logo. The acronym for the uh, airline, PIA, the aircraft type, as well as the scale information on that customized plaque. And then you see that little black pattern there, folks. The purpose of that black pattern is to prevent your model from being damaged or scratched. That's the purpose of this black pattern on this particular model. Now you're looking at this plastic bag, and what you see in this plastic bag are the gear replacement doors, featuring the two little toothpicks you see in that plastic bag for these gear replacement doors. Please stay tuned as I go into details for the purpose of these gear replacement doors for this particular model, all right? All right, with all that information out of the way about the history of Pakistan International Airlines and how they came into existence, all the details here on the front of this box here, including the VOR, various 777 the er models from this particular airline, the nice little wooden stand that came with the model, as well as the uh, gear replacement doors inside this plastic bag here. With no further ado, everyone, here is the model. Check it out. There it is, everyone, the JC Wings. Pakistan International Airlines Boeing 777-300ER in the Garden of the Mughal Tail Fin Livery Scheme in a 1-200 scale model. First of all, we're going to talk about this livery. It's a tail of two liveries on here. The first livery is the one with the fuselage there, and then this is the second one, the tail fin. I'll get to that later. But we're going to start at the fuselage part of the uh, aircraft first. As you can see, this was the previous livery scheme of Pakistan International Airlines, which was introduced in December 2003. And the first aircraft that began sporting this livery scheme was the airline's first Boeing 777-200ER, sorry about that, jetliner, which bared the registration ship number AP-BGJ, as the livery on the aircraft was painted in white at the front of the fuselage, which is this right here, and painted beige at the rear of the fuselage, which is this right here, that was separated by a dark green stripe right here, as the tail fin on the aircraft was first painted white with the PIA acronym typeface was written in dark green. Then the Pakistan title was then added to the front of the fuselage and the PIA logo that's inscripted in calligraphic Urdu was added just behind the cockpit windows. You see that right there. However, due to the criticism of the livery design, the livery design was remodified again just before the first Boeing 777 was delivered as the logo on the tail fin of the aircraft was eventually replaced with the flowing Pakistani flag on the beige background as the Pakistan title was later removed and the PIA acronym was enlarged, which you see right here, and moved onto the front of the fuselage as this was the airline's signature trademark livery look until April 2nd, 2010. That's when Pakistan International Airlines unveiled a new livery scheme for its fleet that was unveiled at the airline's headquarters in Karachi, Pakistan on a Boeing 777-200ER model jetliner, which bared the registration ship number AP-BGK. So, with all that information out of the way about this uh, livery here, at least on the fuselage part, with no further ado, let's get down to business and allow me to show you all the detail on the rest of this aircraft model, shall we? Let's roll. All right, we're going to start at the front of the aircraft here on the port slash left side where you see the nose gears right here, the nose gear struts, the nose gear landing gear doors right there with the partial registration ship number on the nose gear door, HW. You see the Peter tubes and the static ports, what have you. You see the nose cone as well as the cockpit windows and the windshield wipers. Now you see this calligraphic inscripted writing right here. Well, the calligraphic inscripted writing literally means the acronym of the airline PIA, which stands for Pakistan International Airlines in calligraphic Urdu, which is the official language of Pakistan, as the enlarged PIA acronym is also inscripted in English as well. You see that right there? as the calligraphic and scripted writing can also be seen on the tail fin of the aircraft. I'm about to show you that right now. Let's check it out. There it is. The calligraphic and scripted uh, writing right there. Now that's uh, calligraphic Urdu. That's the Pakistani language as you can see there. Okay. All right, we're still at the front of the aircraft here where you see the part, the front part of the fuselage is all white. And then you slide over this way. You see the, uh, the, the green stripe right there that's Divides the white from the beige part you see there. 
And you see the base part of the fuselage goes all the way back to the rear of the aircraft, as you can see there, okay? Now you're looking at the edge of the wing there, and what you see there is the uh, the, uh, the, the tail of uh, the wing, the, uh, the little light right there, the little light right there on the edge of the wing there. I forgot what it's called. Anyway, that makes it more um, attractive, realistic, and appealing. All right. Now we're still on the port side of the aircraft. What you see here first right here is the triple bogey gears here on the port side of the aircraft. You see the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. But more important, you're looking at these big massive uh, engines here on this nice looking aircraft here featuring the engine cones right there, which is more realistic detail as well. And these are the General Electric GE90-115B engines that are used on this particular Pakistan International Airlines Boeing 777-300ER extended range jetliner aircraft. Now I'm going to turn this aircraft model around let you see the front of the engines and the turbo flan blades do spin. Let's check it out. Now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the port side of the aircraft. You see the engine strike display right there. As I mentioned, the turbo fan blades do spin. Check this out. Awesome. And then you got a better view of the inboard land lights. Okay, that's what I meant earlier, okay? There's the inboard land lights right there, as well as the front visual view of the triple bogey landing gears here on the port side, the landing gear struts, as well as landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the starboard side featuring the uh, engine strikes right here and the turbo fan blade spin over here as well. Awesome. And then you see the inboard landing lights right there on the starboard side as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears here as well. The landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft where you got a better visual view of the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, you see the uh, calligraphic Urdu uh, writing on both sides of the aircraft, the nose cone, the nose gear doors, the taxi landing gear lights inside the nose gear doors right in there, the nose gear struts, as well as the nose gears you see displayed there. It makes it more realistic in detail. So with that said, I'm going to take it back to the port side of the aircraft because there's more information I'll need to share go over there as well. Let's roll. Now you're looking at the right wing tip here on the port side featuring the strobe light as well as the red navigation light on the edge of the right wing tip here on the port side. Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here on the port side where it's all beige you see there. And what you see there is the Lahore Garden of the Macau decal you see displayed there. There are five gardens that actually make up the Mughal Empire which is located in the capital city of the Pakistan province of Punjab in Lahore, Pakistan, the Chaburji, Heron Minor, the Hissari Bak, the Shalimar Gardens, and the Mughal Gardens, as Mughal Gardens is the oldest of the five Mughal Gardens in Pakistan that's located in the Lahore province city of Wawa, Punjab. As this garden was actually built during the reign of Mughal Emperor Akbar the Great, okay? And underneath the windows there, you see the Boeing 777-300ER decal. Pakistan International Airlines acquired their very first Boeing 777-300ER jetliner, which bears the registration ship number AP-BHV on December 21, 2006, and took delivery of their latest Boeing 777-300ER jetliner, which bears the registration ship number AP-BMS on July 26, 2017, and at the time of this video review posting, the airline also has five unfulfilled orders for this aircraft type that are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. Alright, we're still at the back of the aircraft here on the port side, and what you see uh, to the right of the uh, Boeing 777-300ER decal is the registration ship number. Registration ship number AP-BHW. This aircraft is the second of four Boeing 777-300ERs that currently operate in the Pakistan International Airlines fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on January 31, 2007 and was delivered to Pakistan International Airlines on February 7, 2007. 
as the tail fin of the aircraft was painted in the Punjab province livery scheme and was given the name Lahore, Garden of the Macaw, shortly after this aircraft was delivered to the airline and sported the tail fin design on this aircraft up until November 2010 then was stored up at an aircraft storage facility that's located on the grounds of Jinnah International Airport, located in Karachi, Pakistan, on July 15, 2013, and was eventually repainted in the airline's livery scheme that was unveiled in April 2010, shortly thereafter, and returned to service on January 24, 2014. And now we're still at the back of the aircraft here on the port side, and next to that L5 rear door is the Pakistani flag decal you see right here. And this flag decal represents the country where Pakistan International Airlines currently operates from as the national flag carrier airline for the country of Pakistan, all right? And then you see the uh, APU uh, exhaust hole right here, as well as the strobe light above the APU exhaust hole, okay? Now, before I go into this tail fin design displayed on this aircraft, you see the airline's uh, acronym right there in calligraphic Urdu. That's the Pakistan language I mentioned earlier. But now you see the tail fin that's displayed on this air, uh, tail fin of the aircraft you see there. Pakistan International Airlines launched four new tail designs for its fleet sometime in early 2006, as the tail designs represented four provinces of Pakistan, Sin, Punjab, Khyber, Pakhtankhwa, and Balochistan, Balochistan, okay, Balochistan, sorry about that, as the tail designs promoted the cultures of the four provinces of Pakistan by applying motifs to the tails and adding a city name to the rear of the fuselage corresponding to the province. As you can see there, that I showed you earlier there, okay, awesome. Now you look at the Pakistan International Airlines Boeing 777-300ER from the rear view angle. Ain't it great? Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard side where it's painted in white. And what you see there is the nose gears, the nose gear struts, the nose gear landing doors right there featuring the partial registration ship number on it, HW, the Peter tubes and the static ports, the nose cone, the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers. You see the calligraphic and scripted writing, which is uh, calligraphic Urdu for PIA, Pakistan International Airlines, and calligraphic Urdu, that's the language, as well as the PIA acronym in English there as well. And then you see the front cargo containing loading door right there, as well as the green stripe that divides the white and the beige colors on this aircraft, as you see there. Awesome. All right. Now you're looking at the center of the aircraft here on the um, starboard side where you see the massive GE90-115B engines right there, painted in the beige right there on the column and you see the engine cones right here as well as a better visual view of the triple landing bogey gears here on the starboard side featuring the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors now you're looking at the rake wing tip here on the starboard side where you see the strobe light as well as the green navigation light that's displayed on the edge of the rake wing tip here on the starboard side Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft where it's painted mostly in beige there. You see the Lahore Garden of the Magal uh, decal right there. The rear cargo container loading door right here. The Boeing 777-300ER decal. The AFT bolt bin door right here. The registration ship number. You see the Lahore title right there. The Pakistani flag as well as the... Um, uh, the tail fin that's uh, displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft you see there, the, um, that is called the, um, that is one of the uh, tail designs that was promoted the cultures of the provinces provinces of Pakistan. Okay, uh, I can't. This is the uh, Garden of Magal uh, tail fin livery scheme right there. Okay, sorry about that. As well as the inscripted calligraphic Urdu writing on the tail fin of the aircraft. All right. Okay, I've got to add some more information on here, okay? Um, if I mentioned earlier, the name of this uh, tail design is the Pinjab Tail Design. 
in which this tail design is actually called, was loosely related to the title decoration of the Wazir Khan Mosque, which is located in the Wall Sea of Lahore, Pakistan, that was built in 1641. Unfortunately, management discontinued the application of the provincial tails, deeming them too costly for the airline in 2009. All right. Now, before I show you the area bird's eye view of this aircraft mount, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft mount in full detail, I'm going to let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gears. Let's check this out. A uh, little challenge there. Roll somewhere. The gears are a little challenging, but like I mentioned earlier, some of the gears on these 777s, they roll, and some of them do not. That's just the way it is, all right? But it does tilt, which is a good thing. And the nose gear swivels there, there, and there. As you can see there. So, with that being said, allow me to show you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft mount. Let's check it out. Now, you're looking at the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft mount, where the first part of the fuselage is watched, as you can see there from the bird's eye view. So, we're going to start at the front. You see the nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows. You see the calligraphic Urdu uh, writing on both sides. You see the PIA acronym titles on both sides. Uh, the anti-collision beacon light right there. Then you slide off this way. There's another high frequency antenna there. You see the ADF uh, antennas in 3D. You see the little green stripe that uh, divides, separates the white and the beige colors there. There's the Wi-Fi box antenna. A couple more high frequency antenna. You see the Lahore Garden of the Magal uh, decal scheme, decal uh, deal there on both sides. Then you see the tail right there. You can see the horizontal stabilizer right there, as well as right there. You see little dots right there on the edge of the horizontal stabilizers, as well as over here, there. Those are the luminate lights that light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now let's check out the wings, everyone. You see the wing walkway. You see the massive GE 90-115B engines right there featuring the engine strikes, as well as the flaps, slats, ailerons, spoils, what have you. See the red straightened ship number, the fuel dump valve, as well as the rake wing tip on this side of the aircraft. Now let's check out this side over here. See the wing walkway over here, the massive GE 9115B engines there, including the engine strikes, as well as the flat slats, aileron spoilers, what have you. The fuel dump valve right there, as well as the rake wing tip on this side of the aircraft. Now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model where it's painted in white where you see the nose cone, the closed nose gear door, as well as the open nose gear door featuring the nose gear. Then you slide up this way. You see the little green stripe right there to separate the white and the beige colors there. And then you come back here, it's all beige from this point on. See the uh, anti-collision beacon light, the hole where the stand goes in at. Then you slide back this way. A couple more high frequency antennas there. Pressure relief valve, the tail skid bumper deal right there. And the purpose of that tail skid bumper deal is to prevent the aircraft from being damaged and scratched when it takes off and land. And then you see the APU housing doors right there. And then the horizontal stabilizers underneath there and there. And then let's check out the gears here. Now you're looking at the gears here. Tilt somewhat. Okay, it tilts. All right. And then you see the uh, massive GE 9115B engines right there underneath as well as the flaps, slats, aileron spoils, what have you, the restrained ship number, the fuel dump valve, as well as the rake wing tip. Now let's look over this way. The gears over here on this side. Oh, okay, they tilt pretty good, tilt a little bit. All right, okay. And then you see the uh, General Electric GE 9115B engines over here underneath, as well as the uh, flaps, slats, aileron spoils, what have you. The fuel dump valve as well as the rake wing tip on this side of the aircraft. Uh, now, since I showed you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft model as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, now I'm going to put it on that nice little wooden model stand that came with the model you see there. With no further ado, everyone, here is the model on the stand. Check it out. Okay, fine, got this model on the stand with no problem, no hesitation. As you see this model being displayed in the takeoff landing position here on the port side. 
Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft in a takeoff landing position with the model on the stand, how the wings are flexing out a little bit, featuring the massive uh, General Electric GE9115B engines on both sides, the port side as well as the starboard side. Now you're seeing this model being displayed in a takeoff landing position with the model stand here on the starboard side. Now you're seeing this model being displayed from the tail cam angle with the model on the stand. All right. All right, before I take this model off the stand completely, I got in this position for a reason. And the reason is I'm gonna go ahead and take off these uh, magnetic uh, retractable gears, starting with the nose gears here first. As you can see, a magnetic there, as well as the gears here on the port side, as well as the gears here on the starboard side there so with that being said since i got all the gears off this model let you see this model at a different angle without the gears check it out now you're seeing this model being displayed without the gears in in flight mode position now you got one or two options how you want to display your model from this point on if you want to continue to display it like that without the gears that's great as well you see these gear replacement doors inside this plastic bag that i showed you earlier that's the purpose of these gear replacement doors, is to substitute your gears while you display your model like this while it's in flight mode position. Or you can do the other option, which I highly recommend, keep them in the gear down position with the gears on there, because it adds more value to the model. Gears up, gear down, that's your choice. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and put these gears back on this model, take this model to stand, and go ahead and wrap up this model review, all right? All right, let's talk about the seating configuration. Pakistan International Airlines has two seating configurated versions that they use on their Boeing 777-300ERs. However, on this particular Pakistan International Airlines Boeing 777-300ER jetliner, it seats 393 passengers in a three-class configurated cabin layout. Now here's the breakdown of everyone from rows one to five, which will be from here to about right here. You have 35 business class seats, rows 21 to 26, which will be from here to about right here. You have 54 premium economy class seats and rows 41 to 84, which will be from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have 304 economy class seats, which brings the total 393 seats. And finally, Pakistan International Airline currently employs their Boeing 777-300ERs on routes from Karachi, Pakistan, to London Heathrow, Toronto, Islamabad, Lahore, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, Kuala Lumpur, Medina, and Moulton, from Islamabad to London Heathrow, Manchester, Paris Charles de Gaulle, Toronto, Karachi, Pakistan, Milan, Malpensa, Copenhagen, Denmark, Birmingham, England, and Barcelona, Spain, via Char Paris Charles de Gaulle, and from Lahore to Oslo, Gautamoen, London Heathrow, Manchester, England, Toronto, Paris Charles de Gaulle, Barcelona, Spain, via Paris, Charles de Gaulle, Karachi, Pakistan, and Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I'd like to know if you got this model review or you plan on getting it, if you can find it. I think the only outside chance of getting this model now is on eBay. So with that said, take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.